Hi, I've had a few questions asking me what I'm doing when I'm melting lead and uh, why I'm melting it instead of uh, just melting it and, and putting it directly into sinkers. Number one, um, I take a lot of scrap lead, um, like buckets that take a lot of room, and I melt them down into little biscuits or ingots, whatever you want to call them. So they're easier to handle and they're easier to put into the pouring pot for the sinkers. So I'm going to show you what I do to get them ready to go to Curtis to be poured for sinkers. A few of the items that I start with is the burner and an old pan that you're not going to use for anything else. Um, you don't ever want to use a pan that you melt the lead in or you get lead poisoning. A Teflon covered muffin pan and of course the bucket there has got my chunks of lead in it. They were uh, pretty well full and then I cut them into chunks and get ready to melt them down. So let's get the burner lit and we'll start melting lead. Alright now that the, uh, the lead's starting to melt we'll put some lead pipe into the container. It's always a lot easier um, to wait till it starts melting and then put the lead in because the hot lead actually helps it melt a lot faster than just sitting and trying to melt the pipe right off the bat. So I'm going to put some lead in here. I'm going to move this over to the side. Bring my cooling bucket in. Now I'm going to let this lead solidify, or not solidify, but to melt. And uh, then we'll get ready to pour the lead into the muffin pans. Okay, I had a little tip over issue. That's why I do everything outside so I don't burn a building down and also so I don't inhale lead fumes. But uh, anyway, I got it standing back up. We're still melting. And uh, as soon as I get this melted, I'll show you how to remove the impurities. Okay. The last piece of lead is almost completely melted. You see the stuff floating on the top. That is the impurities. On um, lead pipe and stuff, you're going to have a lot of impurities because of the gunk that's inside the pop, uh, inside the pipe. So what we're going to do is take this spoon and rake it over to one side, and that's the impurities right there. So being I'm not really worried too much about my grass, it's fall, everything's melting anyway, or the grass is starting to die around here anyway. So you know, this, this the impurities here is more or less dirt from the inside of the pipe, outside of the pipe. And we'll try to get as much out as I can. That way when Curtis gets to pouring um, there won't be anything to clog the uh, melter when he's pouring the sinkers. So with that, now we're going to pour into the pan. And then we'll leave a little bit in there so the lead will start melting again instead of having to uh, start all over the lead will start melting a lot quicker if there's a uh, melted lead liquid in there it seems to melt a lot faster so Put 
some more lead in here. Start melting that as well. In the meantime, as soon as these harden for a few more minutes, what I'm going to end up doing is picking up the pan and dumping it in the water. And that'll cool them off quicker so I can handle them. Okay, now that these have solidified, is use a pan, a couple pan mitts here, and then I'm just going to dump them into the water. Good to hear them gargling. And that's basically it. Those are pretty well ready to go to Curtis. As soon as I get enough of them, get them stacked up and put in a container. I'll take them to Curtis and then he'll start the melting process to actually make them into sinkers.